Welcome guys to The Infected, a survival horror game a bit like Seven Days to Die, but not zombies. Yes guys, uh, it's a survival game, that doesn't include zombies. I do love a good zombie survival game though, so yeah. So I have looked into this game, I played a little bit just to see what kind of game it is, because, you know, it's a, it's a cheapy, off, cheapy one off Steam, it's about... 14 quid I think it is, don't know what that is in dollars because I don't deal with dollars, um, UK so pounds, um, but yeah it's pretty cheap so I've had a look into it just to see if you know there's a, if there's you know what, what kind of things there is to do in here, I don't want to be playing a game or starting a new series on something if there's not going to be much to do but I uh, tell you what for the price there is actually <laughs> A lot, a lot in here, and I was actually pretty impressed by it. So I thought I will do a series, guys, for you, um, and show you this game off. If you, of course, want to see more of this game, yes, and see how far we can go, then please smash that thumbs up button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, yeah, do all those usual things that YouTubers tell you to do, um, and let me know, yes. But anyway, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna. I mean, Taking, I ain't taking that. At the moment, don't need it. So I'm just looking for goodies around this house. This is our starting location at the moment. We're not going to be living here. We are going to go out, find a location suitable for us. But first of all, we have to build a quad bike. That is the objective. We hold F, it tells you. ATV recovery and repair. Examine the all-terrain vehicle, ADV. So, quad bike uh, to you and me. To learn what's required for operation, search the nearby area for the supplies and parts necessary to repair the vehicle by pressing E. Once the ATV is repaired, press F to bring up the next task. So, we do have a few tasks to do. So, we're going to have to repair this ATV. Or, like I said, quad bike. Because it is a bloody quad bike. It's got four wheels which means quad and it is a bike so yeah let's build this thing up and then we'll get on the move I did see the other tire in here I've just ran around the whole building a waste of journey but I suppose you know do with the exercise right <laughs> you know every, every, it's, it's 2023 everything is about bloody exercising and going to the gym and cardio so running around the building I'm doing it in game now, look. There we go. Okay, so ATV recovery done. Let's grab a few things here. Like I said, we need. Oh, that's going to go in special compartment, that doesn't it? So I think we're all looted here. So let's have a look at our next objective. So no place like home. With your vehicle repaired, it's time to head out and explore the world. First locate a suitable spot to construct your base, then craft and place a claim pole to start construction. Use M to display map. So M, there's the map guys. It is absolutely massive. Okay, we are down here in this little section here. We've got a little guide or what's it called on the map? I can't remember what it's called on the map. Key or something like that. I think it's got a key in it. Um, so we've got a map key <coughs> here, play location, we got ATV location, land claim location, so this is where we're going to build our base. Uh, obviously, we haven't got one of them yet. Truck location, I don't know what a truck location is, or a cart location, okay? Because like I said, I have done a little bit in this game, just to learn it to see what there is. And yeah, I've not, don't even know what that's about. Cave locations are these X's, so there's actually quite a few cave systems around we're going to have a look in. Again, something I haven't explored. Uh, but yeah place to call home and somewhere we can live our lives okay so i don't want to build anywhere down here i want to build near water now i'm trying to find or have been trying to find a little area like because there's town centers there's villages there's all sorts of stuff right there's houses buildings etc now i did find one on my little little play around there's one here and there's a cave there and we have a water system here. So I might build close to this section here. I can't put any markers on, unfortunately. So um, we'll see what we can do. But I am tempted to build here. This says it's something there, but I don't know what it is. So I'm tempted to build around here. So we're close to water so we can get a constant water source. All right. So I've come, well, I found the water source roughly around the area where I said I was going to build. Um, 
I kind of want to build uh, with like uh, you know um, mountains or a wall behind me in a way because in certain days you do get surrounded by hordes of these things they start off small and as again like seven days um, the more time that passes in game or the more days you survive the harder they get so I kind of feel like I want to build like here because there's trees there's rocks there's animals as you saw with the chicken just running past there I don't know whether they can come off the top there though I think I don't think they can spawn there nice little bridge but we're very close to a water source actually I think this would probably be the perfect location right in this corner here right here oh we can go up here oh hello oh there's a sheep that's the first time I've seen a sheep I'm not going to lie. Alright, actually, I think I'm going to build up here. I think I'm going to build here somewhere. Make a little building here, I think. So, yeah. I feel like I'm going to build here. Oh, I'm, I'm thirsty. Hang on. Got a drink. I have a little drinky. There, right. Okay, so I'm going to build here. Try and utilise this as much as I can to stop hordes coming from one direction. And then, uh, can we get, see, I do like that, though. Just imagine building a little base under here. Nice, beautiful waterfall there. With eagles and birds soaring overhead. I think that's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But we've got to be able to get in and out of here, right? With a quad in order to go on supply runs. So, probably not ideal. So, we're going to start chopping trees down. And the first thing we need to build is uh where is it placeable workbench we need a saw bench uh oh, we got it oh no we got to do a i forgot we got to do a claim like i said i haven't played this for long i've literally loaded up drove around to have a look around at the place done a little bit of crafting and building just to test it out so yeah this is the first time i'm playing this so let's put a Claim. It doesn't really matter where this goes. So we're going to use it as a little sign to say where our home is. So let's put it here. Which way is it? That way. So we'll go and like. There you go. So we've got no place like home. Done. We'll put a little sign on there. That's not as, as important at the moment. So let's put another. Not another, sorry. Let's place our wooden bench down. And no. No. Not what I wanted to do. Go away. Yes, thank you. Try that again. Where's my mouse? Thank you. Placeables. Thank you. I wanted to put it somewhere like. We're gonna put it here. We'll put. We'll make a couple of these. They're pretty cheap. You just require some logs, four each. So if you're going to try this game out for yourself, guys, I do recommend it. Like I said, it's only about 14 quid. It's not too bad. For what you can actually do in this game, it's not actually bad at all. And I'm, like I said, I'm hoping to show you that in this episode. Or as much as I can. But yeah, you're going to probably want a couple of these. And then you can pick up a couple of logs. Place one on each. And they're going to automatically create planks. Uh, I'm not going to be too worried about that at the moment. Like I said, this is merely just to show you guys this game. I don't see many people... I've actually not seen anybody play this game. Okay? Now, I was told about this game from my partner, who you've seen play games with us. She's the... Um, you know, from the treble twosomes from Demonologist and Phasmo, which have been on this channel. Um, she's been playing a lot of this. I think she's on, like, day... 40 now or something like that and she uh, pointed me in the direction and said you need to try this game out I was like well really I've got so many games I'm playing at the moment which I'm enjoying she goes try that you like your survival games I was like okay okay so I had a look so it was 14 quid went well 
What's the worst is gonna happen? It's gonna be shit, and I'm gonna get a refund. It's only 14 quid. Yeah. Second day, I'm bloody recording videos for you. But yeah, anyway, so we're gonna have to gather a load of logs here. And then we're going to place. Once I'm going to harvest this one, we're going to place some. Um, we're actually going to build a pick actually, so I can get rid of these stones because we don't want these big rocks here, do we? Um, I forgot how to make a pick. That's not good, is it? Uh, okay, so we have everything for a pick, so that's even fan that's that's even better. So let's harvest these stones, get these out of the way, and then we're going to place some foundations here and start a basic building for now. And expand off that as time goes on. Could really actually do with like a storage box right here a minute. So I'm going to just whack one down. Storage box. Nice. Let's grab some planks here. Grab bloody planks. Thank you. And then... Load all this stuff in. Okay, so I've decided to put a third saw bench out. So we got a load of planks because we're going to need them to build to build our base. Sorry. So we're going to get some foundations going on here. I'm um, going to work out. I think I can build into stuff. There is no limits, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So let's do a little bit of uh, maneuvering here a minute. And... I might build like from a little bit more from here. Okay, so this is going to be like our build. I'm going to go straight across here. Yeah, that was nah, it was slightly off. Very strange. So we're going to go with something like this at the moment. Like I said, it's just sort of a start thing. Okay, I know this is pretty huge for a star base, isn't it? But uh, we're going to need it because there's going to be a lot of a uh, lot of resources, a lot of benches and stuff we're going to need to put inside as well. So for each one of these, these main square foundations, we need four logs, six planks, and the same for the corner foundations. Hence why I've uh, built three of these. So we're going to grab some planks here, put them on. So there's our first foundation. Now we have established what, where our base is actually going to be. Don't know what it's going to look like as we build up. It is very stormy at the moment. Um, it is night time, as you can see here, day one. So as you can see, we ran out of planks now anyway, so I'm gonna go and get some more trees. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this. Like I said, I'm gonna probably do like a montage for you guys. We're gonna continue some like a montage. Um, it's gonna be a bit difficult at night time, but I want to build a campfire here to start getting things cooking up. Um, we're gonna need water, obviously. We're gonna need ugh, frog. Thank you. Get some meat going. All the important things. Let's grab some logs here a second because we're going to need some of these. One, two, three. We'll grab three. We'll come up here. We'll place it here. Then we want to go to our build menu, placeables, and then food. We want a campfire. I'm going to place one there. So for this, we're going to need small stones and firewood. Now to get firewood, we can take a wood log and harvest a wood log. We're going to get sticks and firewood. You get the same amount from each log. So if we do this again, harvest, we get more. Come very much firewood we need. We need, yeah, exactly eight. Nice. You get four from four. We need 
some stones here. I don't want to take the whole inventory. We'll take some sticks here. Come over to our campfire. Go to our backpack and we'll drag the sticks in. I don't understand this logic though, because obviously we have campfire. I suppose it acts like a tinder sort of thing, maybe. And then uh, we'll light that. Nice, we'll come over here. We'll grab our flask. We'll fill that up with water. Come back over here. Drag our flask to the bucket. That's going to fill the bucket up with water. We can also put our meat down on the stone to cook that. So we can do two things at once. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple, guys. So now we are surviving, yes? We are cooking water to make it clean, drinkable water. We are cooking some meat. We are building our base. Things are happening. Right, so we're on the last part. Well, at the moment. Well, I think. I'm going to put, obviously, a wall there. Uh, a wall there. But we are getting very close to building the first layer of our base, guys. And I think it's it's not too bad. Okay? We will, obviously... Uh, they're, they're tongue tied. We will obviously expand off this. I'm hoping to obviously build it like to here. So we've got straight across. Um, build up to the actual lake here. Little river waterfall area. And just all sorts of things. Yeah, we got. The, 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 there's plenty of um, opportunities. No opportunities. What's the word? I don't know what the word bloody I'm looking for. But, you know, we've got plenty of space to play with. And uh, I do plan on playing with that. I mean, it won't be a survival situation if we didn't sleep, right? You require sleep, I require sleep, everybody requires sleep. I bet even Jesus sleeps. Yeah? So yeah, I had to build a bed. And I'm hoping that is also going to be a respawn point. Because that's one thing I don't know neither. So, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Wind playing in the sun, sun, sun. Okay. Let's grab, I'll start grabbing these uh, planks off here because we're going to need to move these indoors. Actually, we could do that right now. So we press N, we can move. We haven't got to demolish it or anything, which uh, I'm not going to lie. is absolutely fantastic. Again, arc. And um, we've got to move our storage boxes in. Now, one thing I do want to test is if I can move storage boxes with stuff in. So this one's got a load of stones and that in, which we are going to need. Um, I'm going to put these along here for the time being. And look at that, guys. You can move your storage boxes with everything in. So, game changer. Again. Game developers who create survival games. Why haven't you done this yet? What was that? That was a bird. I got worried then. I thought, oh, um, there's a creature in the water coming at us, but there's not. So now we need to move on. Okay, we need to build tools. Alright, so we'll go to our in, in item, itempedia, itempedia. And we want a... Okay, so we can build a katana with an anvil, which requires one stick, one iron ingot. Um, we can build a stone spear, which is a stone blade stick, plant fibers, a bow... We can craft, but we need a workbench for that. Um, I don't think we need a workbench. No, it can be crafted on a player or on a workbench for that one. Can we craft an anvil? So an anvil, we are going to need... Uh, where the hell is the anvil? Oh, I can't remember where the anvil is. I think that's placeable. Uh, 
to a placeable yes it is so we need five iron ingots and eight planks for the anvil the workbench we need nails and planks so for this we're going to need a stone forge okay so forge is obviously going to make us our ingots i'm going to place i'm actually going to place them next to the storage here uh let me do it this side so i'm gonna put i'm gonna place three of these like that they require 25 stones each which we have well i think we have well i don't think we've got exactly 75 stones no we only got 25 of them there that's that one done um and then we'll go over to here we'll place bark down there we want two stones then we place two stones on top we'll get our lighter light it and that is going to smelt those two stones down to extract the resources from those stones we got to grab our campfire quickly so we'll do that here this can come indoors as well I think I might put the campfire ooh let's put the campfire here yeah, do the campfire there um, close that. I want to harvest these logs down to grab the firewood. Put it into our second fire. Or second forge, sorry. Okay, so guys, we are smoting stone down and we are getting iron fragments from this stone. Okay, I've got a chest full of stone here and I've also got two piles of five iron fragments. Now, with these iron fragments, um, we've got to obviously wait till these stones are done, which they need done. Um, once, actually, can I just, I'll just take, I'll just take these off. It's fine. So with these iron fragments, when you've got a stack of five, you can put them on top. They will melt down to an iron ingot, um, and then we use that iron ingot to obviously craft our anvil, which we're going to put like here. I think that's a good enough place. We need eight planks here. Um, oh, and yes, guys, I have started doing the ceiling experience of the fact I didn't realize I know it's dumb you know because I can be uh, the rain actually put the, the forges out so I had to build over the forges yeah I only just realized that <laughs> so yeah I mean I had to do a little bit of grinding I will finish this ceiling probably before the next episode because this looks hideous now um, but it is what it is so these stones here are nearly done. They will turn to iron fragments. Any second now. Uh, we are day three, so we're doing very well. I haven't seen any enemies, but I don't expect to see any any enemies just yet. Let's get some more stones on. Always be cooking, guys. Always. A, the ABC of crafting is always be cooking, always be crafting. Actually, you could probably put ABC as an always be collecting as well. Using the word collecting over gathering, I suppose. Um, yes, the rule of thumb is ABC in survival games. Always be cooking, always be crafting. And I'm going to add one of always be collecting. I think I can safely do that. A final ingot has been made. Right, so we need a stick. Let's grab that. Come to here. We'll click our in itempedia over. That's such a word. Mouthful. Right. There we go. We've crafted our katana. So we press three. Oh, <laughs> it's so cheap. It is the cheapest freaking weapon I've ever made in a survival crafting game. Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, I just hit my thing. Do I love it? I do. Right, we're out on the fuel on that one in a minute. Hang on. Let's do this. Split. No, 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 no. Split half. Thank you. Add. Light. That one's fine. That one might need a little bit more. So we'll split half again. Put that one in there. And then just whack the rest in there. Tidy. Welcome to our little village. Look at this, look. Great. I love it. I love it. Okay, so yeah, this is our local village, which is over here. So not too far. 
It is a bit of a distance. Oh, no, I want that one. Thank you. So we can look around. We've got to make sure we search everything. And we're only going to take essential stuff. So this here isn't really essential. Like bark chippings we get from trees. Uh, clay. I mean, we don't need that at the moment. So no point taking it. We've also got to look out for the monsters. We don't need bone shards. I have no need for that. Uh, this is what we're looking for, guys. Iron or eggs is good, so we'll take that. Just, might as just do take all of it. It's all good stuff in there, isn't it? Hello. And but oh, mate, it's so nice. Can we just live here? It's just so nice in here, man. You guys, I know you want to see the bad guys, the vampire. There's a couple there, that. A couple bad guys there. We'll slowly work away. So as far as I know, there is three enemy types, three model types. We have, I think it's Dracula, who fires spells at you, the little shit. Dry break, small stone, not worried, but take the rest. I'm not worried about that. I'm dropping it on the floor, guys, so it all respawns back. Because if we leave this place, come back, uh, things will respawn, and they respawn back quicker. There's obviously nothing in there. But yeah, as I was saying, about the enemies, we got Dracula. I think we got, is it, I think it's Builder or a Constructor or something like that. Pretty obvious to tell who he is. Yeah, you're, you're, you're spotting him, guys, from a mile away. And then we have the, like a Banshee coin. Not Banshee, um. Not a Banshee, what's it called? A Werewolfy. Werewolf type, type guy. Again, it's something we will, you will see. You'll see the difference as we fight him. So I'm trying to, I'm not trying to listen out. What's that? Potato sprout. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and unload. Where's the quad? Na na na. Thank. Eggs. Done, done. Let's go upstairs. Make some ghoulies. Remember, we are early on as well, guys, so... Yeah. It's only going to get harder. As the days draw, and the nights close in on us, like seven days of the night, is it going to get very hard? Monsters are going to increase their population by breeding with each other, and uh, they're going to start hunting us in massive packs. Yeah, see? He's just spotted us. Okay. Yeah, this is the Banshee type. So it's a vampire, but like cross Banshee kind of thing. Ah, you little shit. So we do get a free shield at the beginning. Yeah, Katana for the win, baby! Bandage. Alright, um, I'm, get, um, I'm getting rid of the cucumber seeds. Cucumbers grow near us. Don't need them. Pointless. Right. Where's bloody Count Dracula? I want Count Dracula. Give me Count Dracula. I'm dropping the bars. <gasps> There's Dracula. That's a Dracula. Watch you throw some shit at me. Did you? Thank you, bitch. Thank you, bitch. Timing, actually. Timing. Timing is essence. Them hit. So, Draculas are obviously the harder guys. No, that is the construct construction guy. Look at this guy, that. That, watch, ready? Look at him, that. Oh, he double whacked me, you little shit. Watch him. Coward, that. Coward. Absolute bloody coward, you is. I'm going to teabag you for that. Look at that face. Look at that face. But see, they're like, they're like vampire slash. slash bloody werewolf things, you know? Um, so we've seen all three. All three enemy types. Hopefully it'll add more in the future. Maybe big bosses, maybe mini bosses. Who knows? Flying creatures. This this world can literally you can literally have anything in this world. Um, so I'm gonna head back up. But anyway guys, yeah, so like I said, this first episode was more of an explanation about the game, showing you the game off. If you do want to see this as a series, again, comment down below, 
thumbs up hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're new yes um, and do you guys want to see a normal playthrough and then maybe halfway through we do a permadeath playthrough with no save points so if we die uh, you know no bed nothing like that so if we die we die kind of thing um, I don't know if that's going to work with turn oh no we have to manually save and turn off um, I think that would we'll, we'll, we'll work something out for that permadeath kind of thing um, yeah and just whatever just anything like that yeah just let me know in the comment section guys let me know your thoughts but yeah anyway I'm going to go back I'm going to finish the ceiling and do some grindy work between this episode and the next if you want to see that um, and yeah guys so this is The Infected a survival vampire hunting whatever game this kind of is but it's a survival horror this crafting survival horror that's the main genre but yeah anyway guys <laughs> I've had enough yap my throat's getting me now <laughs> so yeah guys anyway hope you enjoyed if you did do all that and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye guys